Welcome back students. Today we're going to be working on lesson two, inherited plant traits. Let's review the objective. The student is expected to differentiate between inherited traits of plants and animals such as spines on a cactus or shape of a beak and learn behaviors such as an animal learning tricks or a child riding a bicycle. Plants also have inherited traits just like animals and humans do as well. Physical characteristics of plants are also called traits. Offspring inherit traits from the parent plants. Plants inherit ways of responding to their surroundings. Let's look at some examples of plant inherited traits. Some of the traits include the flower color, More examples include the flower odor. Also, st stem lengths are traits that plants have. As you can see in the pictures, some stems are longer, some are shorter. The leaf size and shape are extremely important as well. The root types. Here we see on the left the different types of roots. Fibrous roots, colline, tubercular, and taproot. In explanation of a taproot, taproot systems have a stout main root with a limited number of side branching roots. Some examples include nut trees, carrots, radishes, and dandelions. Here we see the examples for taproot. Fibrous root systems have many branch roots. They include grasses, marigolds, and beans. Now let's review vocabulary. Again, traits are visible characteristics or features. Inherited traits are the physical or behavior characteristics that are passed from parents to their young. And offspring is a new living thing that is produced by one or two parents. Offspring inherit traits from the parent plants. And keep in mind, genes are the factors that control these traits. Now you will practice what you've learned. You're going to click on practice 2 button to study and play games. Then you're going to click on quiz 2 to take a short quiz. Remember to send your quiz results to your teacher. Again, a quick review. You're going to first take your quiz. Second, you're going to view your results. Three, you're going to click on the box with the three dots to share your results. And you're going to select the envelope email box to send the results to your teacher. Again, your teacher will provide you with her email, her or his email address for you to send this information. Good luck and have fun.